I believe a student should meet with a career fair educator not only because we are nice and we are friendly, but because we are students as well. We are undergrad students. We are figuring it all out at the same time as you are. We understand where you're coming from. As a career peer educator, I facilitate drop-in sessions with students. I do presentations with student clubs and organizations. Basically mentoring students um, on their career and major choices and giving them any sort of guidance for career-related questions that they have. Um, I feel like a lot of students, when they have kind of like doubts about the major they're in, and it's kind of later on in their college years, they're just worried about what am I going to do after college? I don't like my major anymore. I, I want to switch. I'm already like a junior, senior status. So one thing we always like to tell them is your major doesn't always have to coincide with the career you go into. So I think that's really important. You see a lot of students find more comfort after you tell them that. Just kind of going for those hands-on experiences that you feel that you would fit best in, that you're more comfortable doing. So what I do as a career career educator is I help students with their academic and professional development. Like for example, we help students um, with their cover letters, resumes, uh, we help students do job preparation, which that includes interviewing um, tips and skills, which we have resources for on pathways and on some link, etc. Uh, a skill that we're taught as peer educators is active listening for our drop-in sessions. What that means is, you know, when a student comes in and they're telling us about their problems or the questions that they have related to career, we're taught to you know sit there and kind of just like listen to them. Don't start thinking about what responses we want to give, don't start thinking about the different resources that are available to them, but just really listen to their situation. And during that training I had like a revelation where I was like, oh my gosh, this is applicable to every type of relationship that you have with people. You know, listening for the sake of understanding rather than listening in order to respond. The advice I have is to take advantage of all the resources we actually have at the Career Center and challenge yourself. For example, I was very scared to be in front of people and being a peer now and getting that help from your supervisor, your peers, is just an amazing experience because you see it yourself that you're growing and you're able to talk to other people.